In this video we're going to tie a fly called a shot glass betas. First thing we're going to do is start off the Tiemco 2499 SPBL hook and a small red glass bead. Then we're going to take some white UTC thread tied in about the middle portion of the shank there right near the bend. Then we're going to take some natural India henback fibers. We're going to tie them in so that they're about the length of the shank of the straight portion of the hook. And we're going to tie these in. You can see I have my hook here kind of at an angle. That's so I can tie down the bend of this fly a little easier. Then you can trim out your butt ends there. Now the next material we're going to tie in is going to be some black super hair, just a single strand of black super hair. We're going to tie this in right along the side of the fly here and back down the bend. And we can take our thread forward I'll just build up a little bit of a taper here. We want to make sure we leave plenty of room for our bead on the body. I'm going to take that super hair material. And I'm just going to counter wrap it forward. I'm trying to make nice even spiraling wraps. Oops, didn't quite grab it. Nice thing about the super hair is it's a nice durable material. You can just unravel it and start over. Actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to even out my hook here just a little on the vise. Should make it a little easier for me. I really just put that at an angle so I could get started on that tail. Once you do that you can straighten it out. Now, once you have the super hair locked down, we can tie in our flashback material, which is just going to be some medium pearl flashback. I'm going to tie that right on top of the shank of the hook here. Now the next material is going to be some white fluorofiber. We're going to take a fairly generous clump of fluorofiber here in white. I'd say about 20 to 30 strands. And then we're going to tie those in right on top of the crystal flash or the flashback material that we just tied in and we could slide our bead back towards that thorax make a few wraps in front of it and also behind it And we're going to take some Vivas black 14 knot thread here and 
tie that in right at the head of the fly. Then we can take all that flora fiber, pull it over the top of our bead there. Lock it down. And we're going to take our flashback material, also take it over the top. And then we're going to take our flora fiber and split it into two equal halves on each side. This will be the legs of the fly. And you can whip finish. Now we're going to take each of those clumps here and just split them down each side, pull them back at the same time, and we're going to trim our legs just longer than the thorax. And now we need to glue it. So for that we're going to use a little bit of fly finish. You can also use epoxy. And we're just going to put a pot or some fly finish all over the body as well as the casing. I also like to put it on the underside as well. The only place you really need to be careful is around the legs. And then you can cure it with your UV light here. If you need to touch it up a little bit, you can always add more. And that is the shot glass betas. Let me give you a, a better look here. It can be tied in a lot of different colors. That's kind of just a white and a red kind of color. And you can trim the legs a little bit shorter probably. I might have made them a little bit too long on this one. So we'll trim them down just a little bit. There we go. It's a 
little better. You want to be about the length of your of your thorax. And that's all there is to it.